Hey Libra, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. If this reading resonates for you, Libra, I do encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're aware of when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. Now, I do offer personals. The link is in the description box. You can go straight to my website or Etsy. I offer video recorded readings just like this one, as well as Etsy message. You get a picture of the tarot spread, okay, with your reading. I also have my tarot oracle decks on Etsy, spiritual jewelry cheat sheets, so check me out. All right, Libra, let's jump right in. Messages for Libra's sun, moon, rising, Venus. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Okay, this is from March, April, okay, 2022. All right, Libra, the challenge for you is the Seven of Cups in reverse, okay? So a lot of you Libras, you're finding yourself in a situation where there's a lot of confusion, there's a lot of uncertainty. Now, you could be dealing with someone who's confused about you, right? So take it how it resonates, okay? Feel free to switch to roles. Um, I feel someone's feelings are up in the air. I feel like there's a lot of illusions, right? There's a lack of clarity, a lack of truth. Um, someone may be not acknowledging their feelings for you, but I also feel like there could be other people involved. There could be um, other interests. You could be dealing with someone who has options, right? And so now your challenge is to sort through this confusion, okay? To make sense of something and to get out of this Seven of Cups energy, whether someone is putting you in that or you're putting yourself in that, okay? Now, in a recent past Libra, we got the King of Pentacles, in the reverse, the emperor and the star, okay? In the recent past, I really feel like there was a desire to move forward with something, okay? The emperor. I feel like you really wanted something to take off. You really believed in something. Um, the stars card is here, right? This is someone that you, you knew the connection was special. You believed in it. You wanted good things to come. You were manifesting it. There's a lot of optimism here with the star. This could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. Um, but I feel like this person... Maybe they didn't feel the same way because I, I see the energy of someone being non-committal, someone who wasn't as committed as you were, okay? Um, I feel like this is someone who expected a lot from you, you know, Libra, but I don't think they, they gave much to this connection. They were not providing you with that security and stability. And so I feel like that's why something here may have not worked out. There may have been um, some issues, okay, regarding the long-term long-term stability of this connection so let's see what the current energy is the knight of wands there is some movement here the temperance in a verse and the five of pentacles so i feel like someone here is getting tired of something not taking off of not moving i feel libra you've been incredibly patient i see that there's an energy of you maybe pulling back you may have recently left someone out in a cold libra by um by disconnecting from them, by not speaking with them, maybe you decided to no longer entertain this connection. I feel like someone here is feeling abandoned by you. Someone feels left out in the cold. They may feel like you're not interested. They may feel like you're not offering um, your time, your energy, your effort, your love, right? So there is an energy, a young energy, I wanna say very immature, who could be coming in. There's a lot of movement with the Knight of Wands. But, you know, again, I want to say immature because the Knight of Wands is someone who kind of all of a sudden comes in. They don't really do much thinking. They're not really, um, they don't, you can't really take that energy very serious because they can kind of wake up and say, okay, I want to do this on a whim. Okay. So there's something coming in. We're going to find out what that energy is all about, what they're bringing and what you need to know about it. Okay. So coming in in terms of the future, what can you expect? Three of Wands, I like it. The Hierophant in a verse and the Six of Pentacles in verse. Now, I see that ships are finally coming in, right? There's some kind of movement again. The Knight of Wands, I think it's because this person's taking action towards you, Libra. So the Three of Wands is like finally after a period of waiting, right? Temperance, you've been patient. Finally, something's coming in, moving towards you. However, Libra, you're going to probably become very clear about something here. And I think it's something regarding this person's commitment to you, to the relationship, because I feel like you are perhaps going to re be repeating something because I'm seeing the energy of someone here coming towards you, but then offering the same thing, okay? Not reciprocating, not giving their all, not entirely committal, okay? The horrifying is in reverse. So you may be having to really ask yourself, Libra, 
is this worth it? You know, you're going to start seeing things clearly. There's going to be certain patterns and behaviors and things that this person does, Libra, that aren't going to change. And it looks like to me, with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, I don't think this person's giving you any more of them than what they gave you in the past. So if this person was breadcrumbing you in the past, if they were not committed, right? I feel like they're going to be that, that that same energy is coming into the near future. So you're dealing with someone who has a tendency to come in and out of your life or who may come in and kind of like say, okay, I'm ready to change, but then they don't. So be weary of that, okay? So Libra, what's on your mind? Three of Cups and the Three of Swords in verse. I feel that Libra in a current moment, there's the energy of like, you hurt me. You know, there maybe have, have been some kind of breakup or separation, the Three of Swords. And what you want more than ever is just this person to come back in, right? You want, you want togetherness. You want their intention. You know, it would really make you feel better, especially if you're in a Three of Swords, that this person finally, um, you're able to come together and have some kind of reunion. Now, I do see that happening, Libra, but be careful what you ask for, okay? Because Libra, there's the energy of this person coming back, coming in, the Knight of Wands. However, are they really going to bring you what you need? Or are they going to perhaps lead you down this path of more hurt and pain, okay? So be very careful, okay? So Libra, the Three of Cups, certainly yes, you're going to come back together. Maybe you guys go out for a drink, uh, go out to eat. There's the energy of coming together. Like it could be literally just linking up again, right? Um, let's see what's in this person's energy. Maybe this can explain why they're giving, um, you know, those non-committal vibes. Or just the energy of not really reciprocating, not giving their all. Page of Swords. Very immature energy. King of Swords. That's you. Now, we do have the Empress and we have the Two of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the juggler, Libra, okay? You could be dealing with someone who's been juggling you and someone else. I feel this person has a way of... Um, you know, showing you interest, but also simultaneously showing other people interest, okay? So be careful of that. Now, what also looks like to me with the Page of Swords, I feel this person is kind of, you know, they got you on their radar for sure, Libra. I think this person definitely is watching you from afar. Uh, that Page of Swords can also be like one of those people with the wandering eyes, okay? They look at other people, you know, you're on a date with them, but their eyes are like looking at other people simultaneously, you know, they're multitasking. Um, this person definitely... I don't think they're focused is what I'm saying. They're not very focused. Um, they certainly do think about you, Libra. You're in their energy. I need to find out what this empress is. Um, this could be the energy of them really wanting uh, an opportunity with you, wanting some kind of change, wanting a new beginning, wanting something to grow, right? The empress energy. But there's still that back and forth energy, that two pentacles. It's like this person's in it. One moment and the next moment, they're not. So a lot of instability with this person, Libra. They're not all in, okay? So that's something you have to be aware of. That perhaps, you know, this person may need some time to figure out what they really want. And until then, don't give all to them. Don't put your all in if this person's not putting their all in, okay? So Libra, let's jump right in. Let's get some more messages for you. All right, Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Libra? The Emperor in a verse of the Chariot. I really feel like, you know, you want this victory, Libra. You want change. You want to be successful with regard to this partnership. I get it. But also, Libra, you have to recognize that it's not enough if you just want it. Right? It's not enough if you're the only one that's like paddling forward. You're the only one that's nurturing, that's that's uh you know really caring and making this grow. You're the only one that's showing up, you know. So I really feel like the Emperor in the verse is the fact that this person hasn't done their part. They haven't put in their fair share. And that's why something here just doesn't seem to have direction. It seems to just not really take off the way you want it to. Okay. There's not much power behind it because both of you guys are not in it together. So with the chariot, that's the challenge. You want to be victorious. You want to win. You want change. Um, but I also feel like someone has to become clear on what they want. And that's why the emperor is in reverse. This person hasn't become clear that it's this what they want. This is the connection that they want, okay? So give me the recent past. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Devil, ooh, and the High Priestess. Libra, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Capricorn. 
it looks to me like someone here, Libra, has some kind of toxic way of thinking, belief, behavior. There's something going on here that they have to address, okay? I even see a very secretive energy. Now, you could be dealing with someone who's very secretive, right? They don't tell you everything. They keep things from you. That's a concern, right? That's a red flag. Libra, there's also energy that this high priestess could be someone that they're hiding, okay? And they don't want you to find out. They don't want you to know. Um, and that can explain why they're coming across as very non-committal. King of Pentacles and Verse. It could explain why this person is not fully invested because there's someone else in their environment. There's a secret of energy there. So whether they're lying and not telling you something or there's actually a person in their life and the devil could be a codependency. It could be something that they're tied to. It could be like a past uh, relationship, an ex, okay? Give me the star. Why is the star card here for Libra in the recent past? Queen of Wands in the verse and the judgment. I, um, you could be dealing with a Leo Sag Aries, right? There is a big decision that has to be made. And I really feel like, honestly, the judgment, it's about you, Libra. You having to make a decision. You can have hopes and desires and wishes, but if someone isn't taking action, right? The Queen of Wands and versus person is not taking action. They're not doing enough. When it comes to movement, when it comes to showing up, this person has not done enough. And so there is a decision you're having to make based off of what you're seeing, based off of what you're getting. Why is the emperor? Empress here is a nine of swords in reverse. And it's it's really difficult. I feel like in the recent past, you've had to step up to the plate. The emperor is about taking charge of a situation. And I see with the nine of swords, it was really difficult to maybe even cut cut out someone of your life the ace of pentacles is here so it's in reverse it's meaning that there's some kind of missed opportunity so some of you guys you may have decided to walk away from this connection and there was a missed opportunity maybe you decided to just like give up you know regardless there was a missed opportunity something didn't work out and i feel that libra you know you've been in your head about this there's a lot of anxiety stress fears frustrations but you let that go and i feel like Part of it could be the emperor, you now rising up and saying, you know what, I got to take back control of my life. I got to now be in a driver's seat and move forward. So give me the temperance in reverse. There's something about giving up, losing patience. Three of pentacles in verse and eight of wands in verse. It, it looks like there's been a series of, I would say, delays, right? A lack of movement, a lack of communication. And the Eight of Wands in verse is speaking about that. The energy between you and this person, things haven't been taking off. This person hasn't been openly communicating with you the way that they should have. So therefore, there's been a lack of change, right? Three of Pentacles in verse, you're not getting along with this person. You and this person do not see eye to eye. There are things that you feel very strongly, they feel very strongly in the opposite opposing direction, right? So the Temperance in verse is kind of like, okay, that's it. I, you know, I give up. So there's something here that you're pulling away from. You've given it enough time to try to maybe manifest and for it to change and it hasn't. So there is something here you're leaving out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups. So what it looks like, Libra, is that your goal is a Ten of Pentacles. Whatever that may be. It may be really working on you. You know, your home, house projects, your money, business. Okay, learning new skills. This could be you just finding structure, stability, and security in your life. Whatever that is, someone here isn't adding to that. Someone here isn't allowing you to get to that place. And you can almost do it all by yourself. So I really feel the Four of Cups is literally just rejecting something. You know, deciding that this isn't working for me, right? It's not helping me. It's not serving me any good. So the Four of Cups is a missed opportunity. You're pushing maybe something away. Um, why is the Knight of Wands? And I feel like there's an the energy of someone coming in just when you maybe reject it. The her <laughs> sorry, the Hermit. The Tower. I don't know where I got that from. The Tower in reverse, Scorpio energy and the Knight of Wands. Someone is coming in very quickly and it's almost like they've been avoiding this for a really long time and they can't keep avoiding this. Something has to be addressed. Now, some of you, this tower could be literally just what this person's going through, right? Their their whole life is falling apart, right? There's something that they've been failing to address, and now something is crumbling before them. It really looks like from the energy, the way it's being revealed to me, Libra, this person is literally realizing that everything that they worked hard for, everything that they actually really wanted, everything that you both worked hard for, let's just say it like that, is now falling apart right? Th these missed opportunities, delays, now they're seeing that their whole life is crumbling right before them. And it's not what they want. So I feel like this tower is serving as a wake up call for this person. It's serving as literally I'm getting like, they're, they're now seeing things differently. There's an enlightenment. 
something is being shooken up in their life, but it's allowing them to realize something really important about you. And that's why this person's coming in so quickly, very, very quickly, Knight of Wands. So I feel like this person is trying to avoid further destruction of something. They realize there's a lot of damage here. Something has fallen apart. Something has literally crumbled. And now it's kind of like, oh, no, no, no. Let me come in and save it. So you're heartbroken. There's a lot of hurt in your energy, Libra, the Three of Swords. Some of you guys are out there dating now with the Three of Cups. Five of Swords and a Temperance in Verse. And it's really because you've given up, right? But th th there's the energy of you finally healing now, Libra. When you've accepted that something here, you know, just isn't working. There's just too much conflict. There's too much resistance. It shouldn't be this way, right? Five of Swords. Once you realize that something here didn't work out for a reason, right? The temperance in verse, you can finally let it go. You can finally say, okay, I tried. I gave it my all and it didn't work out. This could be a Sagittarius. Now, let me give me the three of cups. Why is the three of cups here for Libra? The four of swords in verse. Now, there's a lot of anxiety here. I feel like some of you guys are having a really difficult time moving on, starting over. The idea of starting over with someone um, could be very nerve-wracking for you, could be bringing forth a lot of anxiety within you, especially if you're still healing. You haven't quite recovered from something that just happened. Now, I also feel like the four of swords in verse could be something here that after a period of rest, after a, a downtime, isolation, getting four weeks, four months, three weeks, three months, there's something that's coming out. There's something that could be coming towards you. And it could be that Nia Wands, someone who's kind of all of a sudden come back in your life. And the Page of Swords, they've had their eye on you for a reason, but I feel like they haven't always been talking, right? They've been kind of watching you from afar. Some of you guys, you like, you, you have this person on social media, on Instagram or whatnot, and they watch your stories and that's it. But they don't really say anything. Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Wands. So we have this King of Wands energy. It could be a Leo Sag Aries, could be a Taurus, Virgo Capricorn. There's someone here who is refusing to like bring change in their life. I mean, it's like this is someone who definitely still desires you, still wants you. I feel like there's a lot of um desire for movement. However, this person has not has not come towards you because they have not done the work eight of pentacles in verse and look literally this person has not done the work but i also feel like this is someone who could be realizing something there's a lot of swords here and i feel like this could be someone who's finally being becoming aware that something hasn't worked out because they didn't invest fully okay so give me the empress and the two pentacles king of pentacles the eight of cups in reverse and the page of wands now Libra, there is definitely here it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone who's returning, someone who walked away from you and is now returning. Eight of Cups. I'm not happy. This isn't what I wanted. I feel like this is someone who sees you with the Empress. You're growing, you're glowing, you're attracting a lot of attention. There's a lot of abundance, okay, in your life. And I feel like this is someone who's now weighing options. They want to come back, they want to stir things back up with you. Two pentacles. There's a lot of back and forth though with this person. And with the page of wands, I don't think this person's very secure, but they will come in and and try to i'm getting flirtatious type of communication that's how they'll start things off they may send you a message oh hey libra i saw a picture of you on facebook or you know on, on instagram on social media and you look good so they could be like a compliment this person starts off with a compliment oh i like you know your new car that kind of thing right so <laughs> two of pentacles they're a little bit unsure and that's why they're coming in with a page of wands they're going to send you a message and it's not going to be very emotional it's going to be more like like more flirtatious okay so three of wands let's see what this is about knight of pentacles in verse the seven of cups in reverse this person is so confusing libra because what i'm getting is that this person here it's like they come towards you but th there's a lot of emotions a lot of feelings that it's going to stir back up we have the six of cups and the seven of cups this is someone here who um you have a very strong connection with but there's still a lot of Feelings you don't understand, you know, a lot of you guys, you're still trying to, I'm getting you've tried to cut eyes with this person because there's a lot of ne negative memories of the past. There are things that this person has done and you still don't understand why it doesn't make sense. With the seven of cups in verse, there's something you're going to become very clear about that this person will certainly come back in three of wands. They're, they're going to come in at the right time. There's something about you finally uh, maybe moving on and they're coming in. But they're not bringing you the stability that you need. The Knight of Pentacles in verse, this person almost does not have anything to offer. It's like they're coming empty-handed. And that's really important for you to know. Because Libra, you don't want to invest in someone here, Six of Pentacles in verse, who's not fully invested in you, right? We have the energy, the Hierophant in verse, not entirely committed. The moon, there are things that you do not see, Libra. 
There are things that you um, are not aware of. Okay, so Libra, it's really important that when this person tries to come back in, you really are crystal clear about what you want. You're not persuaded, you know, you're not, you're seeing past these illusions, right? The Seven of Cups came out twice. You're not getting all in your feelings and emotions. Oh my gosh, I missed you so much and you're finally here again. Really make sure that you know what this person's intentions are because the moon is giving me indication that there's something hidden. They have hidden intentions. There's something here that they have not disclosed to you, okay? So be very careful. Be very mindful of that. Be very cautious, okay? So Libra, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, I do encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe if these readings hit home. And um, I appreciate it greatly. You guys all have an amazing weekend. Take care, and I'll check you guys out later. Bye.